Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lee Time. Today, let's talk about cilantro. There are recently publications talk about the benefits of a cilantro. One of the studies show the benefits of using the cilantro leaf for reducing inflammation, reduce anxiety, and help the blood sugar control. And another study shows the difference between the coriander seeds and the cilantro leaves. Coriander seeds has many benefits including anti-inflammation, antioxidants, pain relief, and even anti-cancer. In this video, I will talk about the difference between the cilantro leaf and the coriander seeds and how to make hydrosol from coriander seeds. What is the difference between the cilantro and the coriander? They actually refer to the same plant. Cilantro, the term is mostly used in America and it refers to the leaves of the plant. And a coriander is for the whole plant. And especially, you know, we commonly use for the seeds, coriander seeds. So that's the seeds coming from the cilantro, the plant. But in other countries, they may only use a coriander. Um, the benefits of the cilantro leaf is rich of vitamins. So this brings is a lot of benefits of uh, helping anti-inflammation and uh, help reduce the stress and improve you know blood sugar control, help our the digestion system. So it's normally used uh, as a culinary, you know, it's as mixed with the food and we eat it. But coriander seeds are, has a more applications. It's not only be used for like a food additives, but also can be used as a medicinal herb. Coriander seeds has a many functional chemicals, including its volatile oil as an essential oil. That's how we can make a coriander seeds essential oil and hydrosol. It's within its essential oil. The linalool takes the most percent. It takes up to 70%, 60 to 70% of its essential oil. It's major chemical. And so linalool, we know it also exists in the lavender essential oil, but within the lavender essential oil, it only go up to 40%. But in the coriander seed essential oil, it can go up to 70%. Linalool has many, many benefits, pharmaceutical properties, including antimicrobial. I had a question from an audience ask, uh, can I use hydrosol as a sanitizer? So it really depends. So for the linalool, we know alcohol being used as a sanitizer all over the place. But uh, the problems when we quantify the efficiency of a sanitizer, there is a term called MIC, the minimal inhibition concentration to the microbial. If this number is lower, that means you use less of the chemical to, to do the sanitization. For the alcohol, you know, we normally use 65%. So most of the liquid are alcohol. But with the linalool, we talk about thousand times less than alcohol to reach the same sanitization properties. So linalool has a very, very good sanitization abilities. But the problem is when you are making hydrosol, you know, I often talk about high quality hydrosol. What is high quality hydrosol? High quality hydrosol means you have a higher concentration of those functional compounds within the hydrosol. We know hydrosol is made by distillation, the water distillation, right? When the water goes through the herb and it carries the phytochemicals into its hydrosol, but it's mixed with water. But if you keep doing the distillation, you have a, you know, your herb, the phytochemicals has been extracted out but your water can still come out. So you are diluting your hydrosol. So the high quality hydrosol means your functional compounds concentration is high. So for normal hydrosol, 
your the linoleum concentration is in the 10 ppm level ppm is a part one part per million so it's very low concentration even though you know the um, linoleum the mic is in hundreds of ppm so it's not a quite you know it's quite far away from your the regular one but if you have a high quality hydrosol your linoleum concentration can go very close to its uh, MIC value. To make a coriander seed hydrosol, so first add water in the pot. So two liters is good. It's normally um, with this, um, you know, the basket, and make a one liter of hydrosol if you have a full of the herb in the basket. So add water first. Today is doing the uh, steam distillation and then just pour the seed this is a pretty good amount um, there are two ways uh, the first way you know just add the seed in if you want to make a you know want to make a even stronger you can crush the seed uh, you can use a blender, <clears throat> but if you make like a powder, then you don't want to do the steam distillation. You want to make a hydro distillation. So generally, if you want to do the uh, powder distillation, you you don't want to use any of the manual the distiller like our the LT three thousand or KD five, but a KD. But ADI, you can make, a, you can do the hydro distillation with powders. So what you do is uh, just uh, add a powder in the uh, pouch, the cheesecloth pouch or cotton bag, and then soak in the water. So today, just doing the steam distillation with the coriander seed. See the cloudy, um, that means there's a oil, the micro drops of the oil disperse in the hydrosome. This is a definitely a high quality, the coriander seeds hydrosol. I can smell a very strong cilantro leaf smell. It's very interesting. From the seeds, you mostly smell like a citrus, like orange peel. But this one, the smell is like a fresh cilantro leaf. So for one of the trick when we're making the high quality hydrosol, especially for the herbs with essential oil, you want to keep a little bit of essential oil in the hydrosol. This will boost the concentration of those chemicals like linoleum can be dissolved in the water. So it can boost the concentration of this uh, functional compounds within the hydrosol then bring you more benefits. If you are new to uh, the hydrosol making or the herb distillation, we have a um, starter kit. This is a part of the, the product you know, within the kit. You have a one liter, the glass bottle. This is wonderful for long-term saving the hydrosol. And the spray bottle, the brown color spray bottle is wonderful you know, for your daily use. There are two of these in the kit and one small the essential oil dropper bottle. You can collect the essential oil or you can dilute your essential oil 
in this dropper bottle and it also come with a little funnel you know help you transfer now i gonna uh save the hydrosol in the bottle this is so lovely i love it the smile look at this see the lovely uh, the milky color and I gotta put in the spray bottle you can use the funnel Coriander seeds hydrosol has many uses. The first one, it can add in the water as a tonic to help our digestion systems. And the second, it has a very strong antimicrobial. As I mentioned, linalool is the major compound within its oil and it will dissolve into the hydrosol. And this gives you a strong antimicrobial. The industry uses coriander seeds essential oil as a food preservatives. And we can use this for our skin, you know, reduce the agony. It's wonderful for the antibacteria. And also it helps reduce the stress and help our mental health. And also it helps uh, improve the, our blood sugar control. So there are so many benefits of this uh, coriander seeds hydrosol and you can use, as I mentioned, as a skin spray, aromatherapy, or food, you know, drink, um, additives, tonic water, it's a lot of uses. Thank you for watching. If you feel this video helpful, please like it, subscribe to the channel, become a member. This is Dr. Liu. See you next time.